Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 27th of August. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign specific. I just happen to be looking into my crystal ball here, and it is very clear. Very clear. And you guys can see the wall behind it from my angle. It's very clear. So something is becoming made very, very clear. It's like seeing the truth, receiving the clarity that you need. Light bulb moment. So let's talk about the 27th. What do we got for the 27th? Clarity. I see. I see. Ooh. Two of Cups. When I started shuffling, this was on the bottom of the deck. So we have a partnership, we have a union coming together, or whatever the focus is, it's on a partnership. We'll see if it's coming together with the rest of the cards. But if you notice, there's an orb. You see the orb? I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's an orb above those cups. It's like somebody that, a spirit or somebody that has passed away, is bringing two people together. This is a divine union with a perfect match. Hmm. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a solid, stable opportunity. Whoever this person is, this person has something huge to offer. Huge. This is big. Big. <laughs> Ooh. So anyhow, um, this person is uh, solid, stable. This person is a hard worker. This person is getting ready. This person has worked hard to get to where they're at, to build themselves up. This person is very stable. This person is really thinking about making an offer. He's thinking about it. He's still holding on to it, though, but he's thinking about making an offer. So whoever this guy is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh! Love! Love! This is big love. Outpouring of love. Definitely guided. Definitely divinely guided love as well. So this is a big opportunity for love. This guy, he's not made his offer yet because he's still holding on to it. He sees it, though. He sees an opportunity. He does. He sees an opportunity for love, and he's thinking about extending what he has to offer. He's watching. He is watching. Um, Ooh, see, he's not giving it yet. Six of Pentacles reversed, he's not giving it. He may be afraid of rejection. He may be, a, this person, I'm saying he because it's he on the card. Whoever this person is, it may be afraid of rejection. <laughs> Ooh, King of Swords. So now we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Looks like this guy is very decisive. He's He's got that sort of communication in his hand, so he is really thinking about communicating. Um, it looks like he's about to make his decision, or his decision has been made. He may, be, he may have a, some sort of protective barrier. He may be protecting himself right now. Um, he, he is pretty optimistic, though. He's done his some sort, like I said, he's been watching. He's done some sort of investigation. I, I think this is the same person. I do. I feel like this is the same person. I think that this person is very strong. This person is very authoritative. This person is definitely a leader. This person is very masculine. 
Okay, this person is very masculine. So I would say this probably is a he. If it's not a he, it's a very masculine energy who may be afraid of rejection. Okay, he may be, because this is rejection right here. Hmm. He knows what he wants. This guy knows what he wants. And he's just, I think he's not making his offer because, I don't know why. I'll find out here. Ooh, he's overwhelmed. He's burdened. He's too busy. He works a lot. This guy does work a lot. He's a lot on his plate. He may even have a chip on his shoulder. He may have a chip on his shoulder. I don't say that very often, but that's what I saw when I saw this. He may have a chip on his shoulder. He may feel like, you know, I have so much to offer. Is this even the right decision for me? That's why he hasn't made his offer. You know, he may be overwhelmed. He may be overwhelmed with giving what he has to offer away. Maybe he's overwhelmed with giving away his independence. Maybe he doesn't have time for a relationship, but he sees an opportunity for love. Ooh, he's coming. He is coming. This guy is coming. He is. Deep fulfillment is coming. And he sees an opportunity for wish fulfillment. So we do have a masculine here. And this is masculine. I don't care what the rest of you say. So this is a masculine that is overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. He's feeling like he really wants to make an offer. But... You know, I feel like he's definitely afraid of being rejected. He sees an opportunity for wish fulfillment. I feel like he is going to take action because this is such a big opportunity. I think he really has feelings for this person. Um, or he feels for this. Well, obviously, he feels for this person. He sees a big opportunity for love. This is deep fulfillment deepening a bond he may want to deepen a bond with somebody he may be afraid of commitment this guy may be afraid of commitment he may be he may feel like he wants this but maybe he's like oh i just want to go have some fun but it turns into a commitment maybe he's really he definitely is afraid of a commitment he is he sees an opportunity for love. It's like he's been brought together with somebody and there's an opportunity here. It's a big one, but there's fear of commitment here. And he may not believe in himself. He could be dealing with another Taurus or, or, or a Taurus. Anyway, um, this person may not believe in himself. He may have um, baggage that he is clinging to, you know, his own emotional baggage, emotional baggage. So he may not feel like he has faith in himself. He may not have a lot of faith in himself. He may not know, you know, he knows he has something big to offer, but he still, he may, it's like, he may, you know, and that's a really big opportunity, but he may not feel like it's big enough because he's such, I mean, that's the kind of person he is. He wants to make sure he has the, he's the biggest and the best. So, um, I feel like we have this masculine that may not have a lot of faith that he will be accepted. But he is definitely attractive and he's probably going to take action. Ten of Swords reversed. Coming out of the darkness, coming out of the pain. It's the end of suffering. Standing up. Ooh, he is, definitely has some fears. So yeah, we got this person that is fearful. Fearful of rejection. Fearful of getting hurt. This guy is, is he like I said, he hasn't made his move yet, but it's coming. It's coming. It is coming. I feel like there's hidden forces. Like I said, there's hidden forces here. This man has definitely been doing an investigation. He's been watching. He sees an opportunity. He sees an opportunity to, you know, step up. Step up to something, you know what I mean? To step up to the plate of some sort. But there's definitely some fear here. There's fear of the unknown. There's fear of being rejected. There's fear of not being accepted. Um, 
It feels as though this man is probably going to take action, though. It's like he may want to resurrect something. I don't know, because this could be a resurrection. That could be a reconciliation. could be a new love as well. So this could be somebody brand new coming into your life um, suddenly. Okay. This is very sudden right here. Um, this guy may come in with blind faith or he may not have faith, but I think he's going to do it anyway. Um, this is a golden opportunity. We definitely have somebody that is coming in and they are going to make some sort of solid, stable offer. Um, this is some, so this is, this is like manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. The, this is a yes answer, a yes to your question. We have somebody that is about to take action and come in and offer something big. Okay. Somebody has manifested basically a new love or something like that. There is definitely an opportunity here for two people to come together in a loving, passionate union. I think that this masculine is going to be the one taking action because I don't see that it's a feminine. Okay, it's not a feminine. It's a masculine. Okay, this is a masculine that is taking action. He's taking action to step up to some plate. Okay, that's what this is. I feel like um, there's definitely some fear here. Um, but he sees this opportunity for wish fulfillment. He does. Um, he may, this person may have just broken free from something because this is broken free from a commitment. So maybe now he's, he's ready. Maybe now he's ready to give it to the one that he is meant to be with. That could certainly be the case because we, this is the end of something, an end of a commitment. So somebody may have gotten out of a commitment that was burdening them so that they could extend what they really, their, their, you know, their big heart or the big opportunity to, to the one they are meant to be with, whoever that is. Anyway, this is about a partnership. There is a masculine that is about ready to take action and it is not a feminine. So just so you know, if it's a feminine, I will let you know. Okay, it's not a feminine. This is a masculine energy that is about to take action. I feel like he hasn't been giving for some period of time because of fear of rejection. There are definitely fears here, but I feel as though I think his decision is made and he's not. It's time. I feel like it's time. I feel like um, if you are single, if you are single, there is somebody that is going to be coming into your life. And I feel like this person is, uh, it's sudden. It's sudden. It's like you don't even see it coming. You don't see it coming. Whether you, you, you don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. But it's coming. It's coming. So whatever this is, this is something that you manifested. This is solid. This is stable. This is something you can touch. This is something you can take to the bank. Okay. Um, it's after a painful separation though. Okay, it is. So there is some sort of painful separation that allows this person to go after wish fulfillment. So that's what we got here. Um, this person is overwhelmed, though. This person is overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with trying to prove themselves. It's like, I'm, I got to be the best. You know, I got to have the biggest offer here. And they may think that because there may be another suitor there may be there may be somebody else that they are competing against because we do have a we have a few people here so they may feel like they're going to be rejected because there maybe there's another person maybe that's their fear that there's another person there definitely could be another person there there could be some competition here um, but this is a new opportunity for love so we do have an outpouring of love and i feel like somebody is about to communicate their feelings and I think it's going to be a sudden decision to do so. Um, yeah. Let's get an angel romance card. Somebody is, is about to take action. That's what we got. The main card right here in the middle. Somebody is about to take action and come with something solid. Come with something stable. Somebody is going to be receiving something. And it's big. There's 
stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So somebody's manifestation, basically, because that's what positive thinking is, is going to bring them romance. And that is the truth. That is what we got here. Okay? Somebody has manifested somebody coming into their life with an opportunity for love. And that's what's happening here. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So I don't know who this is for. But deep fulfillment is coming. For, and you don't even, I don't think you know who this person is. I don't. It's like this is the unseen. You, you know, you may know, but I don't think you do. Or you just don't see it coming. You just don't see it coming. But it's coming. I think we're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person knows what they want. And they do have protective armor on. This person is absolutely fearful of rejection. Fearful of rejection. But I think that they are going to take action. So, good luck.